cross with the disciple we're told that he loved, John, looking down at John. Can you imagine John looking up at, at, at the crucified Christ who is his friend, his dear friend, right? Same gig. I've already mentioned Keats's Ode on a Grecian Urn and to, and to Autumn. Truly, if you read all of Keats's poetry, it's amazing how many references are made back to this book. Other texts that come to mind for you, loss of a best pal and the grieving that goes with it, you can jot that down. At 3B, well, you knew this was coming, a time you suffered true grief, right? Maybe someone you know suffered true, true grief. Maybe you did lose somebody who was close to you. What was that like and how can you describe it? Can you identify and relate to the rage and grief at the same time that Achilles feels, right? How about this one, 3B question? Is art, does it work for you to say art is the way we deal with the fly slaughter? Art is the way we deal with our mortality, right? How do, uh, how do you feel about that? Do you agree with that or do you disagree with that? All right, that's book 18. We now turn to book 19. And Achilles and his shield, and of course when he sees it, he will be described as both godlike and beast-like at the same time. All of this, of course, is just trending towards book 22 when finally Achilles will meet Hector and, of course, Hector will meet Achilles. Thank you. I hope you're having as much fun and joy reading this as am I.